When you work on Datron machine systems, you're hopefully used to burr free edges on your parts. But how about a little chamfer on all sides, also from the bottom, that makes the handling of your parts even smoother? I bet that most of you have never considered to use a dovetail tool to cut that little undercut or to create that little undercut from the underside. So let's take a closer look at that process and the tool. My name is Mark, welcome to another episode of Datron Tech Talk. Now before we cut this little flange in the machine, let's get into the theory first. So we got a dovetail cutter, which looks similar like this little drawing here. So we got our, our regular shank, we have a reduced shank, and then we have this, in this case, a 45 degree angled chamfer that goes, other than a regular chamfer tool, to the outside. So it creates this undercut. So we need to take a few diameters into consideration when we cut the actual part. And what is also important to note is that the technology mostly works on the vacuum table if you work on vacuum because that's where you have like the, the entire excess all around the part, all around the contour. So with the, with the cutting diameter, the lower here, which is in our case six millimeters, and D3, which is the shank, three millimeters, we would be able in theory to cut a, um, a chamfer that has the size of six minus minus three divided by two, and that's one and a half millimeter on each side. But we need to take a little clearance and don't forget, there will be some chattering and vib vibrations in the tool. So it's really only for deburring and like little, little chamfers. In our case, we have the, the plate, which is um, illustrated here in black in the section cut. We've got the tool in green and red should be our vacuum card. So we can go a little deeper than the actual part. And that's exactly what we do. We, we dive or plunge into the material after the, the, the initial cut with the shank mill, the regular end mill. Then we go minus 0.2 millimeter into the vacuum card and we compensate 0.5 millimeters to the side with like a negative offset, wall offset, which creates a little chamfer in this section here. That's the undercut section, the undercut chamfer. That's one thing. So all the, the compensations, the offsets. And the other thing is our slot from our end mill needs to be like slightly larger than our diameter here because otherwise we can't go in and make like this lead-in movement um, in order not to collide with either the stock material or the part itself. So in our case I'm using a six millimeter end mill and I do a finishing cut on the walls of 0.2 so I have two millimeter clearance on the wall. Let's take a look how this looks in the machine. Now the actual 2D milling is nothing too special here. We're going in a ramp movement around all of our contours and have one pocket. So let's take a closer look while the machine is running to the actual tool path of the dovetail cutter and what we need to do in terms of lead in and lead out. We can see that the uh, lead in is inbound off the actual contour cut of the end mill. So it's very important that we're not hitting either the part or the um, or the stock material, so we need to be sure of that. And then with a, with a little radius of a, just a few tenths, we, we do that undercut and we go under the, like, yeah, kind of under the surface of that, um, of that part. Now I'm using a regular chamfer tool to create the chamfer from the top side. That's also nothing too special here. Pretty normal operation. And before we take a look at the actual dovetail cutter, um, I quickly hit pause and pause the machine and we check out the part itself. I keep the part attached to the stock material on these three positions so I can be sure that when I, when I separate it from the, from the stock material it doesn't like fly away. This part is not too small but it's something that I can recommend for every smaller part that is more delicate and where there's a higher risk that it kind of flies away from the vacuum table when cutting through. Um, leaving the tabs and just um, cut them through with the dovetail cutter. 
So let's uh, run this last operation and see how the chamfer from the backside looks. Alright, our part is finished. We have smooth edges, smooth um, chamfers on all sides, top and the bottom, uh, 0.3 millimeter in our case. The tabs, once again, are just necessary and recommended when you have very small parts. For larger parts that um, where there's no risk that they, they fly off the vacuum table, uh, you can just directly cut them out and then use the dovetail for creating the chamfer. We put the cam file and also the milling file in the description below as a download link um, so you can get a better insight of how we programmed and milled everything. If you have any more questions about that technology or want to know anything else about the Datron milling, the software next or anything else, just let us know. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye.